I have not had sushi. This is actually my first time. I feel time. like I should know this, but very interesting. Let's see how this natural plays out here. Now, Key's a really good, um, a real flashy snake. Oh. He's gonna, he's probably too aggro for his own good sometimes. <laughs> yeah, if I'm not mistaken, T Day beat out HLB at one of his two GG events a little while back. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, and he is a dog mate. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, so he does have a, he has a pretty big one on the A1A. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, like, usually the Mario Snake matchup, is that, like, usually an even matchup? Or is that, like, Snake's favor? Or almost. I kind of want to say, like, it's one of those matchups that hey, well, you, you almost treat it like Mario with the exception of, like, you understand Dr. Mario's low recovery, oh, okay. right? But you understand Dr. Mario's damage as well. So as long as he kind of keeps the same game plan as he would as to Mario, understanding that if you, the minute he does close the gap in between ranges and does damage, I need to make sure I'm far away as possible. Yeah, but one thing I could see Dr. Mario probably having in this matchup is that probably all of the old good stuff like gets C4 by Key, probably like all of his aerials probably, probably up, except for upper and air, will knock him out of Cypher, so. Yeah. So if he's able to stick around long enough, he, I think he'll be able to get snakes over committing with an up B or back or down B or stuff yeah. like that. And for so those of you guys wondering too, like if you want to get rid of Cypher, you do need to meet that 7% threshold. Yeah. Because I, I can see this matchup being like bad off stage and sometimes in a neutral for Dr. Mario getting in. But I feel if Dr. Mario can stay in there and just poke enough damage, he has the kill power to just knock Snake out of anything. Yeah. That was really good for Key to let go of Cypher and then have that as a hitbox to cover his way back on stage. Like, Once again, man. same game time. He knows what Mario's in the car too. Ooh, nice F tilt by Key with the patience reading the roll. Oh, Mario's, Dr. Mario's just short enough to go right over the first up of the. Yeah. Ooh. And I like that from Key. He used yeah. the grenade to cover the dash tag. Yeah, he did, and Key's being very safe. He's not trying to get too close to Dr. Morrow because he knows that up B could come out at any given time. Yeah. So Key's playing a really good distance uh, versus Dr. Morrow right here. Ooh, got him with the back throw. Send him to the emergency room. <laughs> Hello, nurse, man. You got another one coming. Hold oh, he got another one, right? Ooh, was, ooh, that was really nice. Good cover up, too, because the first thing that TD was yeah. looking for is the C4. You don't account for the up tilt. Yeah, and I don't think he didn't think he was going to be able to move down fast enough for that. Get up, get, what was that? Up throw, up throw, right? Yeah. And even another interesting thing about this matchup too, this, oh, good there, but he's gonna, oh. Oh, no, he's good, he's good, he's good, he's, he's, good, he's, good, he's good. good. Does he go for another? Oh, uh, that might have been a misinput. I don't know, that looks like he wanted to run off dare spike again, but like he got caught with the dash attack. Another pretty neat thing about this matchup, this, oh, this is like the first time these two characters actually ever meet in Smash Brothers. Oh, oh. good, yeah, oh, well, he wouldn't kill him, though. It's the first time they meet in Smash Brothers, it's the first time I've seen the matchup in general. Yeah, right, because it's like Snake was in Brawl, Dr. Mario wasn't in Brawl, then Dr. Mario comes back, and Snake is gone, so. Yeah. This is like, Smash Ultimate, you get some matchup with veteran characters that never fought against each other before, so that's pretty neat. Nice, you want to go for that landing on the, on the grenade, it sets up the up smash for him. I was going to say Ooh, for Key. I really like that, yeah, that was really good. I love, I love Key's options right now, he's covering everything. Because, like, Dr. Mario is attacking on damage, but he's not able to net the stock. And Ooh. he's doing really good at surviving. Ooh, tough trade. That was I, a tough trade. Yeah. I love the fact that he went for the C4 on the platform. Simply knowing, okay, I'm in the air. The first thing TD might be going for yeah. is an upright with my high percent. And he wanted to immediately call him up for going for the jump. But, unfortunately, yeah. TD did not falter. He stayed on the ground, as he should have, honestly. Yeah. Actually, I want to see what... I want to see what moves he can do that's... Because in his range, he's not able to up B low at like low percents. So I'm wondering why. Oh, m uh, like Dr. Mario, right? Yeah, Dr. Mario. What's like a good poking tool he could be using in? Uh, back air. And even then, back air has it, low it, speed. It leaves him open. Like at yeah. high percents, he wouldn't want to do it because it's going to leave Mostly him open. for Mar Dr. Mario's neutral, the way that I'm seeing it is like you kind of want to play the pseudo to Mario, how he has his neutral with fireball. Yeah. And, you, and the fact that pills do more hit stun than fireball is more of your approach game. Have your opponent be afraid of the hit stun and then lead him with a grab. Just yeah. what do with Mario. Yeah, you're right. I'm looking like majority of Mar Dr. Mario's grounded hits, like his best moves are like, ne his fastest moves are no, all of his, majority of his grounded moves are like negative 12 yeah. on shield. And versus Snake, that's not good enough. Exactly. <laughs> you kind of need to outspeed Snake, outspeed Snake in that sense. Yeah. So back here and there and like upper seems really good options, but Approaching Snake Shield is kind of a scary thing. Keys are really good. They're good going back and forth. Like the grenade setup. Oh, Ooh. I like it too because he waited for the invincibility from the grab throw. Ooh, nice crouch on the jab. Does not. Does Dr. Mario jab connect or is it like he tried to delay them? Oh, nice. Oh, they, they connect. Oh, oh very no. unfortunate. Well, I, you know what though? Let's just say keep playing that. I really yeah. like that. <laughs> I really like that placement of it, you know? His Nikita games all this world. 
Uh, Mario's jet does fully good. And I feel it's still not a bad thing. He just has to. I mean, I like. I hope he's. I wish he just stayed more into to the pill game. Because yeah. he's trying to do pill and approach immediately. He should try to like just use pill to collect a little bit more. Oh, nice. Down beyond the shield. So right now, right here, he should just like use pill to just poke and collect data and bait him to do other things. Exactly. Wait for the right opportunity because snakes do have a pattern. Yeah. Ooh. Watch out for the get up option here. I do like that from Keep trying to cover the roll get up or maybe the landing from the cross up uh, in the air. Okay, nice that too. Let's see how you react to the damage. Ooh, misses that. This where you don't want to be. Ooh. Oh, I like close. Oh, like that. I like, uh, yeah. I wonder if this back air up thing was a thing. Okay, now he's really using cape now, so it's really good. He did. Ooh, oh, that, that was good. That was good that for Neil. Yeah, he knows. He kind of knows at this point the yeah. way that Key's been recovering is pretty similar. He's still doing good right now. He doesn't want to, like, get over the. Oh, there you go. Snake. <laughs> Key's being committed to the up tilt. Good back air. I like, I like the mixes here from Tia. Oh, oh, like oh, that's like the... Oh. That's the vibe check. Yeah. You, that's that's, that's like the show. <laughs> so unfortunately, he's getting called by Nikita C4. Who else oh. is gonna... He has to come... Oh, nice tech. Oh, I nice like idea. I like the tech and the, the coming with the back air. Good dare spike. Oh, he with the edge guard. He's doing really well. Get up to... Dash attack, and then he immediately sets up the grenade once more. Throws it up. I like the cover up too. He that was good, yeah. I think if Dr. Mario was a bigger body, he might have actually got him. Huh? Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, he even he's took so Oh, did you see him with that beer first? Oh, okay, nice show poke. Well, I like it. He's been real. <laughs> oh, I like that. Good dare spike. T Day at 66%. Yeah, he here. dare spike through him into Nikita. He said, I'm trying to take the stock. Look at Key with that head. His ledge trapping is so good in this matchup right now. But T-Day can still get a combo going right now and change change the tide of this battle. But I do like what he's doing here. He let go a little bit of stage control. Yeah. Came back with the pellets, trying to make sure if he's coming at him with the uh, stage control, yeah. he lost it. Oh, Key not finding any setups here at 119. He T-Day needs to be careful. Oh, got him jump. See, just the placement of the C4 <laughs> was a lot of pressure right there. It was, dude. Yeah. It's, it's literally like, okay, I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. And like, then the up tilt? Yeah, because he's like, do I stay in shield? Do he dash grab me? Does, like, yeah. Yeah, he had, like, the C4, like, I don't even think he was playing, like, pressing down B again. He was just staying there, but just the presence <laughs> there. Was the, getting the, that the, the fear that he instilled in yeah. T Day, just letting T Day know, like, yeah. hey, man, if you're going to come up here, there is something in play that you need 